Hey everyone! My name is Sarah Johnson and I'm a pediatric occupational therapist and part of the infant development team here at Emerge Pediatric Therapy. I'm here today to talk to you about my two favorite cups to introduce to infants around six months of age when they start with purees and solid foods. The first cup that I really love is introducing an open cup. And yes, you can do it as soon as six months of age based on how your infant is sitting and bringing things to their mouth. I love this easy peasy cup because the bottom is a little bit weighted, which gives the infant more input of where it's at in their hands. It's also a smaller size, so we can fill it all the way up, practice tipping it back, and it's not a lot of water if infant accidentally spills. So this is one of my favorite early cups for infants, as well as introducing a straw cup. One of my favorite cups to start with when we're working on straw drinking is a honey bear cup. And the reasoning for this is you can squeeze and water will go up into it. And then infant just practices pulling from the straw as they're developing the skill to pull water all the way up. So this is a facilitated way to work on pulling liquid through the straw and then taking that liquid from the straw successfully and swallowing it down. I recommend starting with both an open cup and a straw cup around six months of age. And what I tend to recommend for my families is alternating between the different cups at each meal. The one thing that we want to avoid with infants are a lot of the sippy cups that are on the market. And the reasoning for that is anything that has an anti-spill valve in it changes the oral motor pattern. When you're drinking out of something with that type of valve, a lot of times the sucking that you're trying to do and the way you're pulling it out is not a skill that's transferable to other skills. And I think that's typically um, a very common misconception for families is that sippy cups help prepare you for straw or open cups, but they actually don't. And some of them can teach an oral motor pattern that makes straw or open cups more difficult. So my recommendation for infants is to start with both of these. If you need an option for a cup that spills less, um, the one sippy cup that I'm okay with um, from a developmental standpoint is this take and toss one. And the reason for this is there's no valve. It's a hard top. This can be better because sometimes the soft tops, infants will bite a lot while they're sucking. This one doesn't have any give to it. So even if they're biting it, they're not getting the input back that biting is what they need to do to suck. And a lot of times they don't continue it. Um, but this one's great because it will spill less than an open cup. Um, but it doesn't have that anti-spill valve. Um, so that makes it a little bit better for oral motor development. So if there's families that really want something on the go that's a little bit easier, this would be the one I would recommend. Um, but a lot of times the straw cups that we work with as well don't spill quite as much and are a great option. Hopefully this helped a little bit in talking about what cups are recommended from a pediatric occupational therapist for starting for your infant. If you have any questions regarding your infant's feeding development, please reach out and we'd be more than happy to help. Thanks so much.